Um, what else have I been playing? Um, uh, I I've been playing through Hitman two, and I, I played through Hitman one, which you can get uh through the same uh, launcher actually, so it's pretty convenient in that regard. And it's definitely like a great and wacky time. It gives you like some really unique. It highlights a couple unique ways on how to kill people, such as uh like rigging this uh this vehicle that's supposed to be used as part of like a training exercise, you can take like the emergency brakes off. So it accidentally just like slams into the, into the instructor. And I've, um, so like having those highlights in order to do like funny specific kills are actually pretty good. If you don't want to spend hours like traversing through the environment, trying to figure out, figure out like how a connects to B and how C connects to, to F and whatnot. But at the same time, it kind of pigeonholes you. To be like, well, you kind of have to stick to these things if you want to do the cool thing. Because you sure as hell can just pull out your um, your silenced pistol and, like, shoot someone from, like, a corner where no one sees you. And, like, you can do that. But it's just not as satisfying. But um, I, I have found a couple dumb little tricks that do work. If you're disguised as, like, let's say a guard who is authorized to, you know, like, open carry weapons... Um, so if you have someone to the left and someone to the right, you need to get to the person on the right, but obviously you can't because his buddy's there looking, looking at him. Uh, I have found you can just drop a gun on the floor and they'll be like, Hey d- dude, you can't litter there. You're going to pick that up. You can just be like, Nope. And the other person will pick it up and like, take it over to a little gun cache somewhere on the map. Uh, basically <laughs> letting you just go in and go towards, uh, the dude on the right. Who's now unprotected. <laughs> So there's a couple dumb little in-universe workarounds that I've made for myself, and uh, it will never get tiring just chucking an entire shovel as it just, like, rotates vertically through the air and just knocking someone out instantly. Uh, yeah. Have you have you guys played Hitman whatsoever? Like, I'm, anything in the franchise? I don't do stealth games. I'm Wait, not I, even Dishonored? Wait, no, no. Uh, I was terrible at Dishonored. Dishonored is so good. I, ever played, I was terrible. Like, Splinter Cell or nothing? Uh, I played Conviction, but I played on super easy, oh. so you knocked out people with, like, one punch. Conviction so. is so good. You need to play Blacklist. Blacklist that should be on is you. super good. I couldn't get into Blacklist. I liked Sam more in Conviction, and I got Blacklist, played it, and I was like, ah, it's so weird. They, like, yeah. DH him. <laughs> no, the voice is really weird, too, but yeah. uh, just, like, from a, like, just... a gameplay point of view, Blacklist is so good. Oh, so good. I okay. couldn't get into it. I love the gas crossbow so much. Hell yeah. But uh, going back to Hitman, you, you said you touched it a little bit, Mesa? I've played, uh, I've played like, Blood Money. Uh, and I plan on playing the the the, the these reboots. I just uh, I'm just waiting on the right time. Uh, I think- I, but I've basically been slowly collecting them, I- <laughs> <laughs> waiting to <laughs> unleash them. I actually haven't. Um, I kind of gave up on playing through. Like I still had like three or four more levels because Hitman Two uh, of the reboot has more levels than uh, Hitman One. And and the reason I stopped is just because like yes, there is an overarching story, but I am not emotionally invested in it whatsoever so i'm basically just kind of playing these as isolated levels which you can absolutely do but my motivation to kind of do them is is basically just dwindled to like oh yeah i know i I spent money on this even if it was on sale but i i I just not motivated to actually finish the thing 